you to our second annual Praise in Purple Clergy Breakfast. Um, not sure exactly what everyone's experience is with uh, and background is with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias, but we hope to bring you um, up to up to date with some new figures. We hope to bring you up to date with how it's impacting our community. Um, this is Purple and Praise. It's an outreach to the African American community because Alzheimer's disease and the dementias is not a respecter of people. They don't. It does not care who you are, where you come from, what color you are. It doesn't matter any of those things. If, if, if it's going to affect you, it's going to affect you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of uh, our pastor, Pastor Robert Jefferson, uh, we welcome you to Second Baptist Church and certainly welcome you to the Second Baptist Church Community Center. We're so grateful to the Alzheimer's Association for allowing us to, to host you on this morning. Grateful for all the work that, uh, that they do. Uh, certainly, we're excited and proud of uh, several of our members who are uh, working with uh, Sister Taylor of the uh, association, Sister Mila Pine, and uh, Shirley Davis, uh, Karen Hudson. And so we're just excited about all the work that is going on uh, and, and helping us, the church, uh, help our members, our families, uh, when dealing with such very serious, uh, serious conditions. I'm Jenny Funk. I work at the Alzheimer's Association. This is, uh, April is my 14th year, so I've been on staff for a long time. I am um, amazed at how much change, improvements, a lot of good things that have come over, over that time frame. But I also think about, with raised awareness, how many people still are not aware. Along with Jenny and many others, Alzheimer's and dementia-related illnesses have affected my family personally as well. Uh, I've been in this industry 20 plus years, and as Jenny mentioned, even though I have a great deal of experience and some family members need me as the expert in Alzheimer's and dementia, it's still just as hard for us who have been in the field. Who, once it affects home and you just see it as a different light, uh, I've met and cried and, and prayed and, and uh, been a resource for a number of families families who were affected by Alzheimer's or dementia-related illnesses. It gives a couple of words and maybe even the reasoning behind why this is so important to us. The fact that um, really getting into the community, specifically the African-American community, and why it's so important that we are actually making efforts to reach out and reach minority populations in particular when it comes to Alzheimer's and other related dementia. So yes, I am Dr. Veronica Shedd. I am a clinical psychologist in geriatrics and palliative care at the VA Medical Center here. Um, I, as far as my background, I have been studying aging now for a number of years. Um, I was actually trained on an aging training grant at Washington University and works at their Alzheimer's Research Center there. So that's my background and that's why this is so very important. But I think like many other people, the importance also comes from how you've been touched. The church has really assisted us in a great way. I know that uh, each church has their different ministries and the healthcare teams and you know, their uh, different teams that they have. Uh, they certainly came to the forefront with us, the Davis family here. Um, the deacons would come over and help uh, Gladys um, as far as taking them to an appointment. You know, Gladys is not that strong. She's seven some years herself, and he's six four, two hundred pounds, or whatever. And trying to maneuver him is difficult. Step up to the plate to help out Gladys, and she's gonna need it more and more now, so than before. Because yeah, he's going. You know, there's no more potty change or diaper changes or bed changes in the middle of the night. There's no more anticipating him to fall. There's no more um, other things. But the things we do miss are his jokes, his smile. Laughter, his cunningness, and all those things. 